Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to my latest tutorial, and I'm so excited to see you. Now, in today's tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at mid-journey and how to create truly unique images. Now, with the advances in mid-journey and the way our community is growing, you know, the amount of Facebook groups that are out there where we share prompts, where we share learning, it's just really, really amazing, but we do sort of tend to <laughs> create very similar images. So one way to make sure that our images are different and, and more creative is using weights. So this tutorial is going to be a very simple tutorial on how you can add weights to your prompts to make sure that your image is that little bit unique and different. And I'm also going to be using a feature called Blend so that I'm going to be blending two images together. You can actually, as you can see on my screen, you can blend four images, but I like to keep things simple. So I'm going to be going with two very simple but beautiful images that I've created previously with Me Journey and blend them together. And then we will assign weights to each individual um, aspect of that image. So guys, the, weight, uh, the way weights work is that um, I don't use them if I don't have to, but I'm using them, for example, when I was creating my books on autumn inspiration and uh, Christmas inspiration, because, you know, for example, I wanted more of something in that image. So that's when you would add your weights to that prompt. Basically, adding weights sort of changes the focus. So the more weight you add to a certain aspect of that image, the more of that you will see in the final image. So let's just get started and uh, I'll show you what I mean. Okay, guys, so first things first, you know, with mid-journey, it's so important to actually go through all the parameters and what you can do. So it's in docs.midjourney.com. Um, but you know what, rather than going through all these, I sort of have it in my in, in my sort of document where, I can, where I've got everything I need. And I always have this open when I'm creating because this is just so important. Um, so weights are described somewhere down here. Um, of, of course, there are so many other parameters that you can play with. Um, but yes, yeah, so this is sort of like my way of making sure that I, that I sort of like understand and sort of like get really creative. So here are sort of like prompt weights explained. Um, you know, so it's sort of like really, like, um, really, really well explained. It's basically just taken from me journey website. So guys have a look at that and, um, really familiarize yourself with what the weights do to each prompt. Okay. So first things first, we are going to be, uh, blending two images together and I've already chosen which ones I'm going to go for. I like personally, very simple images so that you know there's not too much going on in the picture especially when i'm blending so i'm going to be picking let's just go to downloads <clears throat> now i'm going to choose okay so let's just go to serene and i'm going to pick one of these 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 ones i created yesterday look at how gorgeous they are they are already beautiful on on its own but um so this is aspect ratio uh, 3.2 and I'm going to add another image, which is a wise owl. So I'm just going to pick my wise owl from here. Um, I'm going to go for, I guess this one. <laughs> I quite like it. Okay, guys, so let's see what happens when I blend these two together. So I'm just going to press and go. Okay, guys, so I'm going to pause it because it's now um, sort of creating and I will get back to you in a second. And we are back. So let's just have a look at what um, what results we've got blending those two images together. So it's sort of like um, we generated it in the square format where the first, uh, obviously the first image was three to two. The second one was 1.1, but it decided to do a square. I mean, it's not the best. You can see you can see the blend of both. So let's just work on this a little bit more. So I'm just going to press uh, iterate here, and I'm going to now um, sort of add to this prompt. I'm still going to keep it images only. I'm not going to be adding text, 
So this first image was uh, the scenery. So I'm just going to keep it as a sort of like less important. So I'm just going to add one. And to this, I'm going to add two because I want a little bit more of a sort of the owl. And then I'm going to change aspect ratio to 3.2. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Just going to um, leave it as this. So as you can see, I added weight to the uh, sort of like the scenery to one and then the um, owl is two. So let's see what happens next. Okay, guys, so we've got our images back. Um, so let's take a look. Okay, so as you can see, what happened here is that I gave more weight to the owl image. Let's just quickly have a look at the original owl image here. So as you can see, there's absolutely, oh, where is it gone? There's absolutely no water behind this owl. And the original image with water was this one. <clears throat> oh gosh, it's taking ages. <clears throat> Too many things going on. Sorry guys about this. Okay, so in this case, we've had, um, our prompt is like this because obviously you know, we gave more weight, more importance to the owl, but it's really, really cute. It's very cute and unusual, and I love it. You could also go for aspect ratio 1.1 so that you would have it square and possibly the uh, moon will be more visible. But I actually really like it. You can see that it really quickly sort of like changed, created a brand new image, quite unusual. It will be quite hard to <laughs> sort of prompt it to for it to come this way. So I'm quite happy with the results. Um, and now let's do the same experiment, but we're just going to change the aspect ratio, uh, sort of the weighting uh, around. So we're going to be, so we change this to number two and we change this to number one. And I'm also going to keep it one to one. So let's have a look at what happens. Yeah, guys, still no text because obviously I've already done um, the original images where I created with text prompt. So we are just keeping it with the. Okay, so guys, this has the prompt has to go straight after the. There, there cannot be any space. Yeah, so straight after the either text. Uh, if you if you're using text prompt, so it would go straight after the word. No space. And in this case, you know, when we are using a blending feature, it needs to go straight after the, well, I guess it's a URL. Okay, let's hit submit. Guys, and we have our images back. So let's take a look at them. Um, so obviously here I sort of changed the weights and I also changed the aspect ratio. So let's take a look. I don't think these are as great. I mean, you can see the owl here. <laughs> let's just sort of... Zoom on it. Yeah, it's not the best uh, because obviously we were using cartoon with um, sort of imagery. And is there nothing on these? OK, so it's sort of like did this owl stand rather than an owl. OK, guys, so obviously, you know, <laughs> these are probably not the best, but it just sort of like show you what's possible uh, with me, Jenny, you know, sort of like when you blend and assign weights. I mean, I do prefer this one. The ones that I did previously were these. These were also quite cute. I simply um, used different owl. So, um, and of course, you know, once you find what you like, then you then upscale it. And then you can also uh, re-roll the image a couple of times until you're happy. I mean, this one, <laughs> this was the original blend. So you can see that Mijani is trying um, for more. Uh, maybe for more originality, you can actually add your own image into it. And, you know, this way you can really, really play around with it and see what's possible out there and create some truly unique images. Guys, so thank you so much for watching this tutorial. And uh, I really hope to see you at my next one. Thank you. Bye-bye. <music>